my guest this time the number one pick overall last year Joshua Munzen. Welcome to my show Idol. Uh, hey, what's up? Try out in NBA yeah. G League. What? Do you try out in NBA G League? Uh, no, I didn't try out for NBA G League because at the time, uh, they weren't getting paid. Uh, well, you know, they, they, at the time, their salaries weren't, you know, the best. So, like, now they have something to play for that. But I was, you know, making pretty decent money going overseas, you know, my first year. So that's why I went the route that I went out okay. How's experience first season in Saigon Heat? Uh, Saigon Heat was, it was new because I was young. I was young. I was, uh, so I was, I think I was 21. I was 21. It was the first time I'd ever left, uh, the States. And so, you know, it was that whole experience, you know, being out of my own, uh, you know, out of the country for the first time. Not only that, and then playing professionally for the first time. So, you know, a lot was being thrown at me. But, you know, I think I was able to showcase what I could do. I had a, you know, I ended up having like a 34-point game, like my second or third game in in the league. So, uh, you know, just coming out, just being able to show face what I could do, I think just growing my confidence. So, so I got hit was, was it, it wasn't, you know, it was, it was a little bad over there, even though we didn't win a lot of games. Your top three toughest opponent in the ABL. One of, at the time, guys playing for Hong Kong, Marcus Elliott. <laughs> I think he was always, uh, he's a, he was a world import at the time. I think he was one of, he's a point guard, he's a big, strong point guard, like 6'2", strong, do it all, score, and make plays for other people, defend. I think he, he definitely uh, was hard to guard, for sure. Marcus Elliott, I say Justin Brownlee, when I played against Justin Brownlee in the ABL, he was tough to guard because, you know, he's, as you guys know, he, he Justin Brownlee can do it all. So, uh, and then, after Justin, my third, I'd say, who would be tough? Who was tough? I think there was a lot of a lot of nice guys. I think Mike Singletary was pretty tough. I think he was a pretty tough guy. Anthony Tucker was pretty tough. I mean, a lot of those world imports in that league get you 30 on any night. So, you know, it, it definitely uh, a lot of tough, tough guys in the ABO, for sure. Playing in 3x3 and represent Sorry. Philippines in the FIBA. Uh, I mean, it definitely was a, you know, dream for sure for me to represent the Philippines, uh, you know, on a national level, playing for Gila's uh, 3x3, uh, you know, going to the Olympic qualifier, you know, although we didn't have the best, uh, you know, our outcome wasn't the best, we didn't win a lot of games, or we didn't win a game, but we, I think, you know, just the experience, overall experience, and uh, the journey that it took to get to that point, because, you know, I had sacrificed, you know, a year or two of my career to, you know, make it to that point, so... Uh, you know, it was a definitely, even though we lost those games, it definitely, it, it was definitely a good, uh, a good feeling getting to the Olympic qualifier, so. I'm curious who is recruit you playing here in Philippines? Uh, I wouldn't say I, I necessarily got recruited. I mean, I had been playing in the ABL. I played in Thailand for two years. I did that for two years before I even came to the Philippines, and by the time I came to the Philippines, people knew who I was, people seen me play, so, it, you know, people know, and then from that point on, uh, at the time, you needed to do the PBA daily, and then so, and that was a requirement to enter the PBA, so, you know, while I did that, I was playing 3x3 at the same time, so, I mean, I, but my 3x3 stint came from, uh, you know, me having to play those games in the daily, but, you know, 3x3 became a big part of my career, and I'm thankful for that that part of my career for sure. And I I don't regret none of the decisions I made. I definitely still love the game of three on three, even now. So I still watch. I still keep up with you know what's going on. How's teammate Alvin Possel and Taylor Statham? Yeah, those are some of the best guys. You know, you want on your team. Those are some dogs. Those are guys you know you're very hard to guard out there. You know, Alvin shows that every time he goes on the court. He, very tough to defend and Taylor Taylor's a whole different beast so I mean playing with those two guys I mean I'd have those guys on any of my team on any day I love to have those guys on my team How's your life here in Philippines? It is hard because different cultures uh, I mean I'm 
Filipino. I have mm-hmm. Filipino blood. My dad's Filipino. I mean, uh, I don't. I wouldn't say it's hard for me to live here. I, I live here now with my girlfriend and my daughter, mm-hmm. and you know, my family's here with me. So, I mean, maybe just being away from the rest of my family isn't the hardest thing. But as far as being adjusted to the culture here, I, I'm Filipino. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I eat the food. I, you know, I, I, I grew up, uh, you know, knowing, uh, you know, the culture. So mm-hmm. it wasn't really anything new to me coming here. Pressure in PBA since you the first pick last year draft. No, I don't feel any pressure uh, to uh, under, you know anything like that. For me, I'm gonna go out there and play the way I, you know, I'm gonna go out there and do what I do. Uh, I figure I showed that. I mean, I was I got injured first what two three games of the Cup Philippine Cup last year. I was out six months. I come back, uh, you know, I had a solid six games you know i averaged 19 points on, on 40 something percent shooting from two so i mean uh you know i definitely have some improvements but you know i'm, I'm i wouldn't say you know put no pressure or anything like that I just, I just go out there and you know enjoy myself keep your teammates feeling positive and motivated during the loss i think you just have to you know show uh, talk i mean it's hard to stay motivated during, i mean i would say <laughs> I take that back. It's easy to be motivated during a loss because, you know, it's you can go out and you, you got a lot to get better at. You know what I mean? You, we can go watch film and you have your, you know, your things that you did bad and we can always practice and, and continue to practice and, and continue to, you know, try to get better at things and, and, and keep a, you know, a positive mentality while we do that. I think, you know, that for me, positivity it helps a lot when it comes to, you know, any situation. So right now, you know, even in practice, uh, when the guys are, you know, down and not feeling the day, you know, I just want to keep a positive attitude and, you know, be thankful for, you know, the opportunities that we have. How's teammate Wami Tiansen? Yeah, Wami, Wami's my guy. I, I love, I like playing with Wami. He's definitely one of the hardest guys to guard in the PBA. Uh, he's a bucket. He's definitely a bucket. So, you know, I'm, I'm excited for the season to play with Wami and, uh, you know, I think that our, our one-two punch is definitely going to be it's definitely going to be lethal out there. So we're just going to have to go out there and play our games and, and play together. This question came from Wami. He said to me, what is your favorite Filipino food? Uh, <laughs> my favorite Filipino food would definitely be long and decent. It's like one of my daily breakfasts. Uh, daily breakfast foods. I eat it a couple times a week, for sure. Uh, 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 Longanisa, for sure. But Senegal, Senegal, for sure, is up there. I eat that all the time. Adobo, mm-hmm. I like adobo. You know, I like, I like, I, I got, a, I got a lot of dishes. Filipino dishes, I like. Your top three toughest opponent in PBA so far. Next season idol. What is your goal next season? Uh, you know, definitely to determine to make the playoffs. I think that's that's it's a it's a goal I think that we can, you know hopefully accomplish. Uh, one of my my six games I played in the last cup we were what one in six I think was a long game or I mean, one in one in five. But we could have easily been three and three. I mean we were up twenty on Hanover. We ended up giving that lead back to them. We were up twenty on Alaska. 
gave that lead back to them. So, I mean, we, we it wasn't like any of the games were blowouts. We were up in those games and gave the lead up late. So, I think just making adjustments when we get the lead and, 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 and you know, that could have been a difference and that's making the playoffs last year. So, I mean, just got to continue to, you know, like I said, build and, and be positive and, and, and you know, things are, things are, things are working out in it. Thank you, Idol. Can I picture with you, Idol? Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel.